Do you want to make changes to your table plan? Res Diaries Table Plan Editor gives you the tools you need to build and amend your table plan. This film will introduce the editor and how to make changes. To open the table plan editor from your diary, click Settings and from the Table Management section, click Table Plan Editor. The editor is broken up into three sections. Master controls along the top, the table plan viewer in the centre and the content library on the right. On the top left, there are two checkboxes. Show grid lines will add a grid to the viewer and snap to grid will force any of the objects that are being moved to align to this grid. These options are extremely useful when trying to keep your plan neat. Next to these is the Save Changes button. The editor will not auto-save changes to the plan. To avoid losing work, make sure you click this button regularly. If there are unsaved changes, there will be a notification of this in red next to the button. The drop-down menu lets you select which view you want to open. These will be grouped by segment. If you need to make changes to or create a new segment, you can find full details on how to do this in the Creating a Segment Film linked in the descriptor. The Manage Views button will open a pop-up where you will be able to edit the name of each view. Delete a view with the Remove button and add a new view with the Add View button. When creating a new view, select the segment it will be used with and name the view before clicking Add. Import old views is a legacy feature and won't apply to most customers. The view window shows your selected view. You can click and drag any object in the window to move it. The size of the plan will adapt to the position of the objects within it. Objects selected will be highlighted in green. Click on the white space to deselect an object. The content library lets you add and remove objects from the plan. To add a table, click the table section and show the full list of available tables in this segment and select the table you want to add. Then click the table shape section to choose from a range of table designs. Once happy with these choices, click add table. The table will appear in the top left of the view window and you can drag it into position. To remove a table or any object in the view, make sure it is selected and highlighted in green. Then click the Remove from View button. You can also change the shape of a table by selecting it in the window and selecting a new shape from the Table Shape drop-down. The drop-downs below the table library have a range of other objects you can add to your view. To add an object, pick one from the list and drag it into the view. If you're having any issues or have any questions, you can find more information about the table plan view on the knowledge base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.